Kid, how are you? I'm good. Busy, but good. Thanks again for helping with these senior spotlight articles. Oh, my pleasure. It's been really fun talking to everybody. I bet. You get to hear what everyone's future plans are. <sighs> yeah, so um, what about you? What does your future look like? So right now I'm focused on applying to colleges with really strong pre-med programs. So when I graduate, I can go to a really good medical school. All I've ever wanted is to be a doctor, but maybe I'm not good enough. What's she talking about? You're the brainiest teenager I've ever met. You're really good at this. And we're in. Keep up the rescue breaths. Hey, good job. Kit. Kit, I'm Dr. Henry. I know, you're amazing. I read your book, it was amazing, and that, that was... Yeah, amazing. <laughs> Did I just say amazing twice? Three times. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Start sailing. Two fifty IV push. Start rescue breaths. Kit, good job. The first five minutes are the most critical. Thank you. Wow, glioblastoma is rare. It accounts for less than three percent of pediatric cancer cases. I don't think she wants to hear about that right now. I don't mind. This is my doctor. I'm used to it. Still, that's not our job. We're not doctors. And never will be with that attitude. You're not even supposed to look at the charts. She doesn't mind, do you? Knock yourself out. See? These came for you. They're from Bella. Great. Thanks. It's my job. Wow, med school, that is so impressive. I've always wanted to be a doctor, you know? Yeah, I mean, I wish I was that certain about what I wanted to do. You don't have to be. My friend Georgia is constantly changing her major. One week, it's fashion. Another, it's music. That's what college is for. You should go and see what interests you. Studies show we form lasting impressions about others within seconds of meeting. So I can't be with you in a closet when I meet Dr. Henry. He's the most brilliant surgeon in the state. Unfortunately, he doesn't have the same accolades as a father. Seriously? You're his daughter? You're so lucky you don't even know it. You're giving me the impression I don't want to be in the same room as you. Well, that's mutual. If you're so advanced, why don't you go scrub in? Leave me be. Maybe I will. We meet again. Must be fate, or a small hospital. Where are you headed? I was on my way to the supply room, for supplies. That's funny. So was I. I feel bad she's never been to a school dance. It sucks being sick. For sure, something we could do. I need your help. Are you plotting? I'm plotting. How could I say no to Kit's first plot? <laughs> is it Rosie? We don't know yet. But the board is ready for you in Georgia. Um, okay, last question for the article. What is one thing that you will miss about Attaway? The relationships I've made. It's gonna be really hard going to a new place and starting over again. I don't wanna lose the connections I've made here. They're way too important to me. The adrenaline was amazing. So first I stuck into the ER and there was this boy, he was bleeding everywhere. So I saved his life. And then Dr. Henry called me over out of all the nurses in the ER to help save this girl with third degree burns. It was crazy. <sighs> While you guys are patting yourselves on the back, your patients are still in critical condition. Use this instead, lots of pressure. And soak it in cold water, the sweatshirt. Oh, thanks. I'm holding. Kit. What happened here? Jack happened. Ugh, boys are the worst. Amen to that. We want to help. You want to help me? Of course. My way of saying sorry for the other day. And I'm just a nice person. Just have to get these files organized. 
You know what? We don't need boys. Yeah. When did romance ever make things easier? Never. Right, Rosie? Uh, sure, I guess. I honestly don't know. You know what will make us better? The program. And each other. <laughs> and getting these files organized before Nurse Sammy comes back. <laughs> Run. I'm on you. Follow. Oh. No, ooh, more energy. Volunteers, at attention. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I never expected to get in a bus crash, and I expected even less to have heart problems. But somehow I'm happy. I'm scared, yet I'm happy. I'd be angry, scared, sad. Only the bad ones. Well, having you around has been a big help. I'm glad I met you, Kit. <laughs> I'm glad I met you too. Yeah, no, I, I totally get that. I cannot imagine my life without my friends. But, you know, I think our real friends will always be in our lives no matter how much distance there is between us. I guess so. Well, here's to friends, new and old. And to future doctors and whatever I decide to be. <laughs>